gospel passage today, Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. Meanwhile, the 11 disciples set out for Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had arranged to meet them. When they saw him, they fell down before him, though some hesitated. Jesus came up and spoke to them. He said, all authority in heaven and on earth has given to me. Go therefore, make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And teach them to observe all the commands I give you. And look, I am with you always. Yes, to the end of time. Grace and peace, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, church celebrates this ascension of the Lord. The ascension of the Lord gives life and hope. I remember the beautiful words of Pope Benedict. He used to say, Christianity is a religion which we all have to encounter our Lord. At the same time, we have to walk the with the joy of the risen Lord. It's very important. And what gives us joy? The resurrection of our Lord and his ascension. And it gives a clear meaning to our life. Death is not the last word of our life. The struggles are not last are the last word of our life, but eternal life. Though we have not seen with our own eyes, 1 Corinthians 2, St. Paul says, what God has prepared for us, no eyes have seen. 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 to 5, St. Paul also says, we are hoping that one day we will become like him because that's the way God created us. Genesis chapter one, verses 26 to 30, God created all of us in his own image and likeness so that we may always live like him and die with him and to be with him. That is the purpose of our life. We have to live and die like Christ. Like St. Paul said in Galatians 2.20, I have been crucified with Christ. Now, no longer I, but Christ is living in me. So that living in Christ, in and through, and with him always is our universal call. And today's word of God, it's a very beautiful word of God, Jesus said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. First of all, he described or explained who he is. He's not a, just a weak person, but he explained everything Father has given to him, all authority. Then he said, go therefore make disciples of all nations. In other words, Jesus empowered us to do his mission. We cannot do the mission by our own strength, by our own 
wish, with our own command. But we have to get a divine command from the Lord. And Jesus has to empower all of us to do his mission. That's what something happening from the very beginning of our baptism. And with that baptismal promise, do you reject Satan and all his empty promises begins with that. Do you believe that faith, the Father, Son, and Spirit? And that's the way we enter through that narrow gate. And enter into that a long, wonderful way to eternal life, the gate of all other graces, then confirmation, and we receive especially the Spirit. 2 Timothy 1, 6 to 10, St. Paul said, to fan into flame the Spirit God has given to all of us. So Jesus has to empower us and we have to wait for the Lord. And we know that disciples were, Jesus was not just though disciples were with Jesus many years. But still Jesus said, wait until Luke chapter 24, we see that. 45 to 49, until that strength comes from heaven. In Acts chapter 1 also we see 6 to 10. So, in an, all our life, there is a period of waiting. Sometimes we have no patience. We don't want to wait. We try to walk in front of the Lord, not to follow him. Sometimes we have to wait for years. You see the life of Abraham. So Psalm 27 says, it is, it is better to wait for the Lord. And we have to wait 1 Peter 5, 5 to 10. We have to wait and remain humble under the mighty hand of God. So that in due time, God will use us. So always authority in order to build, not to destroy. God wants all of us to have that Authority which comes from the Spirit of God with the conviction, 1 Thessalonians 1 5. But we need to be careful. We should never become an ador ador authoritarian type of character which destroys people, which destroys the soul. But we need to have that authority in order to preach the good news. And Jesus continued. Go, therefore, make disciples of all nations. That is the purpose of our life. Do we have some disciples? We need to examine ourselves. And the disciples won't happen all of a sudden. The disciples we cannot buy with money. We cannot buy with force, like love cannot be forced. But with our divine, humble life, by our spiritual accompaniment, like how Jesus showed us, by way of our life, someone may follow us so that they may see Christ. 1 Corinthians 11, 1 and 2, like St. Paul said, follow me like how I am following Christ. Like Francis of Assisi said, it is no use of going anywhere to preach unless our walking is our preaching. So that discipleship, again, we should never forget Ephesians 2, 8 to 10. Grace us to work, 1 Corinthians 15, 10, not we. So even disciples, because of their preaching, because of their way of life, thousands of people had a conversion and 
they made them to think what is special about these people something very special it's not because of their intellectual capacity or not not just because of their personality but the grace of god so grace of god attracts and in this time as we celebrate this ascension of our lord we have to examine ourselves and we have to fan into flame the missionary spirit within us i also want to be an evangelist the moment we think about an evangelist we may think like no i am going to teach some i am going to convince something no it is by our way of life we can be an evangelist 24 into 7 always wherever we are so we have to develop that art of discipleship that will only happen when we truly accept jesus as our role model our guide our everything once we follow christ people will follow us if we have not disciples means that we never become a disciple of jesus once we truly become a disciple of christ everything will happen in our life everything will fall in place in our life and the last point or jesus said go and baptize so that's the name of the father and of the son and the holy spirit that gives meaning to our life holy trinity the father son and the spirit we begin our prayer we exist everything is based on that and teach them to observe all the commands i gave you and look i am with you always yes to the end of time that's a very relevant word of god for us especially when we are going through difficulties darkness there are times we may feel nothing is happening not just because of covid 19 but because in general we may sometimes everyone may feel what is the meaning of my life nothing is happening at that time we have to deepen our faith we have to cling to jesus we have to look at him hebrews 12 1 to 5 and we have to blindly follow him and that is very important change will not happen in an overnight missions will not happen in an overnight always missions happens sometimes we have to go through lot of difficulties because every soul has a price tag on it and someone has to pay for it sometimes we ourselves has to pay for it and sometimes we may not even understand our mission in this world while we are living on earth doesn't matter what matter matters that we all have to fulfill the mission how john 17:4 jesus said i have glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do and today's gospel we heard jesus said i will be with you till the end end of time remember nobody else can be with us till the end everyone will say bye to us sooner or later but only one person can be with us till the end that is our lord and he will never leave us alone though there are times of loneliness there are times of emptiness there are times of messiness there are times of joy there are times our spirit is in a high but whatever happens in our life one person will be always with us whether we like it or not whether we acknowledge it or not that is christ and he is constantly reminding us why i am with you disciple jesus said to his disciples 
because they were living in a in the midst of great fear what gives us courage in this world nothing not money not our physical strength not our worldly possessions but christ christ alone and not only that christ we see sometimes in the picture on the crucifix but the christ who lives in us with us and who always walk with us so therefore my dear brothers and sisters in christ as we are celebrating the ascension of our lord our lord wants us to walk and fulfill the mission whatever god has entrusted us to do with a great joy with a great hope with confidence without getting discouraged so that our life will become a hymn of glory to the most holy trinity glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen the almighty god bless all of us in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit